Hello, welcome to Buildium Tutorial. My name is Jana Cristo, and today's video is an answer to a question I got from one of my subscribers. It's how to account for prepaid rent. A lot of property managers and landlords accept prepaid rent at the beginning of the lease. Sometimes the prepaid rent is just uh, one month rent that is applied to the rent um, to the last uh, month's rent. Um, however, uh, in certain circumstances, um, you may be uh, willing to accept the tenant if uh, they do a prepayment for a whole year. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. When you accept a tenant and you accept prepayment for a whole year, that money um, you can transfer, if you're property manager, you can transfer all of this money to the owner because it doesn't belong to the owner yet. Um, so what you're going to have to do is every month you need to transfer um, the rent that is due from your trust account where you will keep the prepaid rent into and, and uh, apply it to the that month's rent. So um, I'll start and show you uh, from the beginning how to do that. So I'll go to leasing and I entered a tenant just to show you. I actually entered an applicant just to show you the whole process. Okay, let's, I think that was the tenant. Okay, so I approved this applicant and I'm just not now going to move him in. Okay, and uh, let's say, the this starts March. Okay. Okay. So let's start on the seventh, and this is where you end enter the rent twelve hundred. Okay and security deposit and you can enter when it's due and here additional charges you prepaid rent will be one-time charge so i will enter that and this is important uh, uh, which is the account and go down and find liability account prepayments and of course when is this due and let's say they're prepaying uh, six thousand dollars so we'll enter that and i will save it okay As you can see, the balance here is seventy two hundred because they have not. I've I just entered a charge. They have not um, given me any money to pay for to pay the prepayment. So I want to receive a payment. Let's say they're gonna pay with a check, and it says six thousand. And the payment method would be check, okay, and okay. So we received a check from the tenant and we noted it in, we entered it into Buildium. But um, you have to remember that every time you receive a check from anybody, a tenant, you need to not only note it in Buildium, but also you need to actually deposit the check. So we will go to accounting 
and banking so do you see under undeposited funds there is a little yellow triangle and when i um scroll over it and it says six thousand dollars so i'm just gonna click on it you can either click on it or you can click on the three dots on the side and click on record deposit and i'll scroll down and find this deposit however the i don't want to deposit it in bank of america because that's not ordinary rent it's um, prepaid rent and i want to actually deposit it in my trust account so um, i'll click that save all right and as you can see in the trust account there is six thousand dollars so that's all you have to do um, in order to record a, a prepayment um, in buildium so now i want to go back to the tenant rentals tenant okay click on charlie Okay, click on the ledger okay and right now when you go to that tenants ledger you're going to see this lease has six thousand in prepayment available all you have to do is click on apply to balance and you can select how much you want to apply um, apply deposit to balances you want to apply deposit to rent income in this case and the rent is 1200 so i want to apply 1200 and withhold deposit this is uh, my tenant's ledger and let's look at the balance so um, we applied 1200 to the the rent and we still have 4800 left and okay so what happens though if let's say um you forgot or something happened and you need to uh, in the talent wants to prepay let's say uh, for six months and it's in the middle of the lease so if you didn't do it in the beginning you can still um, actually do that so just click on ledger okay and as always you need to enter a charge okay. and let's say they want to prepay five thousand dollars okay And remember that was the liability account prepayment. I'll save that we're creating the charge right now. Okay, and here it is charge prepayment liability. So the next thing we want to do is receive a payment. Okay, and we want to receive a payment of $5,000 and let's say they're paying with a uh, check um, i just wanted to mention one thing because we're doing both payments with check if they're paying with electronic fund transfer you don't have to deposit anything it's the buildium automatically does this for you all you have to do is create the charge and when they make a payment Buildium automatically deposited deposits the money for you so um okay so check and five thousand and we're gonna save this payment 
Okay, do you see how uh, this lease has 9,800 in prepayment um, available? Um, and you're just going to use it as each month's rent uh, becomes due, you're going to apply it to balance. You can also apply it to um, other charges, not only rent income. So I uh, just want to, since we have this, uh, we entered the prepayment, but there is one more thing we need to do. So go to accounting, banking, click on that. Okay, and save. So now we've deposited, um, oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> So, <laughs> I made a mistake. Hmm. Well, I'll show you how to fix it. Um, so, just click on the deposit that you made. And do you see on the right side, the delete button? On the bottom right side, delete. Okay. So, wh what I did is I deleted the deposit, not the, any, not the, um, the payment. So, we're going to go back to banking. And you see, it's still, it says undeposited fund. So, I'll record deposit. And what I made, where I made the mistake is I should have chosen the trust account. So, I'm going to do that now and okay and i'm gonna save it so now in my trust account i should have eleven thousand dollars let's go back to the tenant's ledger so tenant rentals tenant okay and now um, click on ledger. Okay. Okay. So here is, um, okay, $5,000. And because it says 9800 in prepayment, because we already applied to balance um, some of it. Otherwise, uh, should have been 1100 so here it is. The lease has 9,800 in prepayments available. And um, as I need it, I will apply to balances. The rent becomes due every month. I'll just apply it to the balance. So that's all that's needed. If you have any questions, please um, ask in the comments below. You can send me an email. Um, and I will answer your questions with a video. Thanks.